Grand Rising people, I hope that everybody is having a great morning thus far. Um, I know that there's a storm on the coast, so please be careful. Do everything that you need to do to prepare yourself. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, I have my glasses on today. I had to let my eyes breathe because I got makeup. Yeah. Ladies know what I'm talking about. When you don't necessarily clean off your eyelashes or if you don't have on lashes to help be like that separator to stop makeup from getting in your actual eyeballs and connecting to your contacts. Um, yeah, I forgot my lashes, so that's just SOL. Um, so I had to let them breathe and get all that crunk out of my eye. Um... Like, y'all, I've been having, like, a lot of weird, weird, crazy, I say queer, because it's crazy and weird dreams. Um, and in these dreams, I just, I'm not understanding it. Like, one dream, I saw myself burning a candle and then doing, like, a, a drip and then stamping the candle. Um, so, I don't know if somebody's trying to seal off something. Or it's like you're doing a secret letter and you're sealing it with the candle wax. Like almost like old timey. So I don't know if this is a past spirit. Well, you know, spirits recycle themselves. So I don't know if this is a spirit that sent a message to. It's like you sent a message to the person that you love. And it's like when you did this, you said. When I write this letter, if you find this letter then you know that it's really me when you see me. It's like, I don't know what it is. It's like this person saw this letter in their dreams because you sent this letter as a past person. But if that makes sense, does that make sense? It's like a, it's a, it's a love letter that was sealed with a candle. And it's like when my person comes to me, they'll know about this letter. Like you guys, I have a secret conversation and your spirit is going to talk to that person's spirit and they're going to remember a secret letter it's crazy it's it's crazy but i've been seeing this in my dreams and i was trying to figure out what it is i was like is this me or is this somebody else but um i've been in touch with the person that i know that i was with before but it's like my story was a battle. I don't know if the two people or two spirits were friends because it's some way, somehow they came back in the same era. If that makes sense. Came back in the same era and it's like I'm still involved some way, somehow. And I don't understand how. But it's still a conflict battle like. It may be to the point to where those two broke our friendship. So they said we'll never be friends for the rest of our life. For them to never even cross paths again when they came back into this realm. Like, it's, it's crazy to me. And I'm still trying to figure it out. So, um, but yeah. And this story for whomever this is. It's a secret letter that was provided through spirit. Um, and whoever this person is, they're going to tell you about this secret letter. Are they going to tell you about the dream and then somebody else is going to have this dream? I, I didn't see myself in the dream at all. So that's why I don't feel like it's for me. It's like I was just there. It's like I saw the hand writing the letter. It, it was just like I was in the beginning of a movie. Like the beginning of a movie critic. When you see people like writing a letter and then they stamp it and then it goes. Da -da. It went just like that. So I don't know who that's for. And the bad thing about it is, is that I had it twice um so i i don't know it may could resonate with you it could very well just be for me i i don't know but it's it's crazy um so just wanted to tell you guys that um let's see if spirit has anything else to say in reference to it Okay. Feeling higher vibrations. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see.
y'all don't lie for my glasses. I know they took this stuff. Baby. I don't care. They were free. I needed to get them. Oh. And it's so crazy that when I was little, people used to like, your glasses, you can see everybody's future. <laughs> and literally, I can tell you about this. <laughs> oh. I think everybody with like glasses got some type of ability. It's just some type of ability. I I don't know. Yeah. It made me blind to the world to only see really spirits. So when I'm around people and you're wondering why I'm around people, it's because I see their spirit. I don't see their person. I see that they are acting out. And I can call them out of acting out and get them into being their true authentic selves because you just fall in fashion. Trying to fit in. No need to fit in. I ain't fitting in nothing but my clothes. And sometimes I can't fit in them and I have to buy something else. I got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. It's getting warmer. Okay. All right. Okay, we see we have I'm in control. You're in control of running. So when you run away, you're in control of what you're doing because you're not amused by anything. Um, you're not amused by anything, but you're dizzy. So is it people are driving you crazy? Are you feel confused? Um, letting go. So you got to let go of what's making you dizzy and confused. It's more money, more money, more money. So either you're... So whatever you're letting go of that's cause, making you confused is causing you a lot of money. It's causing you a lot of money. You got to do what's right for you. You got to overcome your adversities it says give me your hand to overcome your adversity so that's giving your hand to spirit letting spirit help you get out of it and you got to be consistent or because you're consistent you have your cheerleaders which is your spirits because everything is done on purpose So you're awakening from something that you've been running from that's been causing you to be dizzy because it's causing you a lot of money. And you just got to follow the spirit. So either somebody is draining you financially or causing you to be drained financially. Um, or either you just like jumping up and doing stuff without consulting spirit and making sure that that's what you're supposed to be doing. And it's causing you to be dizzy and it's causing you to be frustrated because you're spending a lot of money on it. And spirit is like, just follow me. Just give me your hand. Let me follow, like, follow me and I'll give you everything in order because I'm here. I'm your cheerleader. I see that you're consistent. I see that you're trying to do this. You're trying to do too much on your own versus allowing spirit to help you. Okay. So allow spirit to help you. Um... Yeah, because all you think you got is me, myself, and I. And it's like, as long as you got the cash, you're good. It says hubby. So you're like the head honcho. You're the provider. You're the protector. Like you're... Man of the house. But you could be the woman. Driving off and leaving it alone. Because you're more than enough. Late night, early mornings, that's that stress again. Heard it all before, that's that I'm not amused by it again. You're done with playing. And you don't want to be bothered. So whatever this is, it's putting you into like a hermit mode. 
like you're shutting off people. You don't want to be bothered with nobody because you feel like everybody is using you as long as you got your cash in. And sometimes you just don't need to tell people what you're doing. Sometimes you got to work in secrecy. And that's more than likely what Give Me Your Hand is about. It's move in silence. Move in secrecy. Don't tell everybody about what you got going on or what you're doing. Don't tell them until after it's already done. Don't tell them about how much money you're making from it. Because if you do, they just going to be a vampire and stick their hand out for it. Um, stuck in your ways from learned habits. So you're just a natural person to give and help people. But it's hurting you. It's hurting you because it's causing you to be frustrated and you're stuck in your ways. It's like you don't know how to get out of being this helpful person. And it's nothing wrong with being a helpful person. You just have to limit your sources. Okay? You got to limit your sources. You got to limit how much you're going to give out in a month. Like, okay, this month I'm only going to loan out like $500. Okay? So don't loan out past $500. You got to set your limits. Set your boundaries. And let it be known. Um... Yeah, because people are only going to do what you let them do. Because you can answer your phone. You cannot answer your phone. It's completely up to you because guess who pays the bill? So. Yeah. I don't know. So I wonder if that love letter that you were writing and then it just vanished away. If that letter that you wrote was for yourself. Or if it was for somebody else. But whoever it's for recognizes exactly what I'm talking about. Gosh. Okay. So the first ones that dropped was... Case close. Secret keeper. You can trust me. I won't tell your secrets. So the letter was your secret keeper. Mm. Mm. The letter was your secret keeper. I know that y'all saw a bunch of cards fell out too. I touched it and Spirit just told me to shuffle it again. So if it's supposed to fall out, it will. Um, caught up. Got caught up. But almost doesn't count. We almost got caught up. Because you saw the flashing lights. Because you're an unchanging, stubborn. You're solid as a rock. You found what it was. And surprise, <laughs> you were out of service. You were out of service and you made them compromise. Mm. Okay. You gotta make them compromise, or either you made them compromise. It's however you see it fit for your story. But whatever it was, it was somebody that was using you, and you had to step back. You had to move in secrecy. And like right before I even said move in secrecy, well, after I said move in secrecy, it came up. Because that goes way back when. That's the secret letter that you were either writing to someone or writing to yourself to remember. And you're in a slumber like a, I'm not up to it. Because it's draining. It's tiring. It's all water under the bridge. It's all water under the bridge because you, you're just over it. Because it's the same shit different day. And it's just the icing on the cake. But you know you're going to get to your destiny. So... It's almost like I don't know if you're feeling like you're in a repeated cycle. Every time you 
take two steps forward, it's ten steps back. I'm hearing that. I'm feeling like, like, yeah, like all, I just don't want to be bothered, like, just shutting yourself out from people. You don't want to be bothered. You don't want to be bothered at all. You want to keep everything secret. You just, it's like you want to crawl up under a rock, not a rock and die, but you just want to crawl up under a rock and like live in a cave or, you know, just be away from everybody so nobody can bother you. But it's destined that everything is going to work out. Like how it's supposed to just stay in spirit and follow the guides and do what you're supposed to be doing, which is what you are doing. You just got to limit who you got in your circle or who you allow in your circle. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So let's see. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. You don't have to feel bogged down by other people's energies or other people's responsibilities. Remain your responsible self. Like I said, don't let everybody know what you're doing. Don't let the right hand know what the left hand do it. Um, keep people out of your pockets. People can only be in your pockets if you're telling them what you're making. And that's what makes your money dwindle because you're telling them what you're making and what you can do and what you got to do and stuff like that. Stop telling everybody your business. They don't have to know how many times you wipe your ass after you take a shit. Like, that's none of their business. They don't They don't need to know how you put your pants on, your drawers on, how you had to do this. Like It's like you tell them every detail of your life because you are an open book and you feel like you have nothing to hide, which is absolutely fine. But not everybody needs to know all of your moves because as soon as people know your moves, they know how to play your chess game and they know how to take over the board. Okay, so love y'all to life. Probably be back later because I need to make up from this weekend. Um, again, you guys enjoy the rest of your morning. And I'll talk to you guys later.